Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Mathematics Pro. Today, we'll be talking about difference of two square. So first, we are going to start by proving the formula of difference of two square. So this is very easy. So if we have 9 minus 4, which is very easy, we know the answer is 5. But we are talking about different of two squares. 9 is the same as 3 times 3 minus 4 is the same as 2 times 2. So 3 times 3 is 3 square minus 2 square. So we can all see that is 3 square. And we also have 2 square. The minus sign represents difference. So we are talking about difference of 2 square. Difference of 2 square. Okay, so to check this, I will write this 3 in the bracket, 2 in the bracket as well. And I'm going to call this A and 2 will be B. So if we have a plus b bracket a minus b so a represent 3 and b represent 2 so if we substitute we are going to have a is 3 plus b is 2 bracket a is 3 minus b minus b minus 2 3 plus 2 we know is 5 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so if we multiply this we see we are going to have 5 as well so this is to prove that the formula of difference of 2 square is very correct okay so a plus b bracket a minus b is the formula of difference of two square and we can see the answer is correct on both sides so we are going to continue with some example on factorization of difference of two squares Example A factorize nine x square minus sixteen y square. So since we are talking about difference of two square, we can see that x is square and y is square as well. But 9 is not and 16 is not. So we start first by squaring them on both sides. So if we do that, we know that 9 is the same as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. So this is the same as 3 square x square minus 16 is the same as 4 times 4 which is 4 square 4 square y square so we have to put both of them all of them in the bracket so we are going to have 3 x all of them are square minus 4 y r square so we can call this a and we can call this B remember the formula of difference of two square is a plus B bracket a minus B so that is the formula 
so we need to substitute the value in the formula 3x represent a Three x represent a, and four y in the bracket represent b. So we follow the formula. The formula is a plus b. So bracket a a is three x plus b plus b is four y. Another bracket a a is three x minus b b is for y so that is our answer okay we are going to look at example b more examples So for B, we have 81x squared minus 49y squared. So we can see that x is square, y is square as well. But 81 is the same as 9 squared because it's 9 times 9, which is 9 squared x square minus 49 is the same as 7 times 7 which is 7 square y square so for different of two square we have to put all of them in the bracket so we are going to have 9 x r square minus 7 y r square so we have difference of two square so we can see all of them are square on both sides. So if we follow the formula here will be A and here is going to be B. So if we write the formula again, A plus B and A minus B. So what is our A? Well A is 9x and our B is 7y. We just follow the formula a is 9x plus b b is 7y bracket close then we see have a is 9x minus b is 7y so this is our answer okay so we are going to look at the last example so I'm just going to be fast about it which will be example C so you can be given K square example C so we need to factorize K square minus x square plus 2x plus 1 okay so we are going to have k square minus x square plus 2x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 all square okay so to really understand this you need to learn about factorization of quadratic expression so this in the bracket is the same as x plus 1 all square so we can as well put k in the bracket so this is our a and this is b so we have different on two square on both sides so if we write the formula again which is a plus b a minus b 
So our answer will be equals to a a is k plus b is x plus one. Bracket close, bracket open. A is k, and our b k minus b, which is a minus b. So a is k minus our b is. You can put it in the bracket x plus one. So this is also the same as k plus x plus one bracket k we need to open the bracket a minus times a plus is minus a minus times a plus is a minus so this is our final answer okay thanks for watching for more video please do subscribe goodbye